Phillies hosting the Marlins. The Marlins are plus 150 on the money line. The Phillies are minus 178. The over under, nine runs. The Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 140, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Phillies laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 116, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. The weather is supposed to be 79 degrees with seven mile hour winds from the left to the right and a 1% chance of rain. Belozo did not pitch against the Phillies last year. Well, this year, Walker pitched once against the Marlins. Six innings, one run, one earned. They won 8-3 in Miami, and he struck out four. Head-to-head, -head, the Phillies are 6-4. and four. The home team's 5-5. Five and five. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There have been four one-run games in their last 10, including the last two that they've played against each other. The over is 5-4-1, and one, and the over 9 is 5-4-1. and one. This is sort of like a spot start, but we'll see. In Belozo's last four starts, five innings pitched, 4.8 strikeouts, 15.5 outs recorded, four hits, 1.3 walks, 1.8 earned runs, 0.5 home runs, 82 pitches per game, 15.9 pitches per inning. And uh, they did win his last start, but they are 1-3 in, in his four starts as a team. The Phillies are 0-5 in Walker's last five starts. The under is 3-1-1. Five and a third innings pitched, 5.4 hits, 3.8 runs, 3.6 of which were earned, 4.4 strikeouts, 2.2 walks, 1.2 home runs. He's given up home runs and back-to-back -back starts. He gave up three in his last start, 87.8 pitches per game, 16.9 pitches per inning. The Marlins are one and three in their last four. 14 runs, eight runs, 17 runs, 13 runs, four runs in a loss, two runs in a loss, eight runs in a loss, and then seven runs in a win. For the Phillies, they're on a three-game losing streak. They're one and three in their last four. Ten runs, five runs, 12 runs, and then 17 runs. Six runs in a win, two runs in a loss, one run in a loss, five runs in a loss. Walker isn't pitching well. Belozo isn't pitching awful. They're just not winning for him. So I'm going to take the Marlins with the money line. I will take the Marlins getting the runs. And I'm going to lean over just because God only knows what happens when the bullpen gets involved in this game. And the Phillies have been giving up a lot of runs. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.